Hello everybody and welcome back to that time once again. I don't know why, but I have to. I have to just do this every now and again and just cry for a little while. Like, I know it's gonna make me rage, I just know it, but I've got to I've gotta put put the effort in and try. I've gotta see what happens. Uh, anyways, as for today's question of the day, kind of one of the reasons I wanted to do this again um, is, for one, I want to eventually actually do this. I know that it's legitimate pain to my heart, soul, and very being, but I I, I do want to give it a go. Uh, but for the question of the day, what unlocks do you think I'm, like, what, what sort of good unlocks do you think that I'm missing out on currently that I haven't got yet that I should definitely try and go for? I know one of them is I think I can get gulp pills by doing reruns. Uh, so I need to do that one, but what like other challenges or just other character unlocks or unlocks in general um, do you guys know of that I haven't got yet or you think I haven't got yet that you think I should be prioritizing and looking for? Because I'm sure there's a good few. I'm sure there's a good few out there. Um, but yeah, as always with this challenge, there's a good uh, chance that we do a few runs here in this episode and I may end up doing some holding art to restart at the beginning of floor to try and get good item rooms. Um... Of course, these are exile flaws, and we'll, we've just got to kind of see what we get. The good thing is, so obviously, Fiend Folio does make things a lot harder, but at the same time, uh, opposite to that, um, the mods that we're using mean that there's, there's some items out there that can be really, really beneficial to us from mod packs. They could be really good. Basically, in terms of vanilla items, we're looking for stuff like Toxic Shock. Um, of course, Placenta is always good. Bit of extra range is actually really nice. They actually give you two range now. Mental. Uh, I don't think there's much point to bombing that, to be honest. Because um, we can't get soul hearts from it. But, I was about to say, we can get keys and bombs, and we can get small rocks. So, in that regard, it is worth it. This guy can drop us a key. He did not, though, but we did get a key elsewhere. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I do, I do quite like the uh, ultra hard challenge. It's just, it's one of those challenges that I rage at, but I enjoy raging at. I don't know, I hope people enjoy watching it as well. Which is, I enjoy raging at it. Now, that's a very, 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 very good item to start things out. Like, it's not an end-all, be-all item. But, that item is very good, has a lot of synergies, and it's very strong. I'm pretty happy to have it. It's also very good at AoE. It does a lot of, like, damage... Around the uh, around the whole room potentially, so pretty good stuff there. Also, yeah, just the damage it does is going to help with killing champions, and it's one of my favorite items as well. So another reason to be happy about it. Right, we're just looking for our other item room at the moment, wherever that might be. Keep our distance here. Keep our distance. That's pretty bad, but not awful. Which is pretty awful, actually. God, our tier rate is pretty abysmal. I mean, it already was. That's that's the only reason I said it wasn't really bad, because it was already pretty bad. Pills aren't, aren't it on this challenge, are they? Don't take pills. And then... What, what are you going to give us to ruin this run now? Mega Bean. Mega Bean's not bad. Mega Bean is a good way of uh, killing bosses, potentially. It can be a bit random, a bit unpredictable. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, decent first floor. Obviously, a tears down is not what we're looking for, but tears up will right that wrong pretty quickly. Ah, oh, bugger. Basically, no way I wasn't taking damage there. I killed those uh, that boss in a really awkward position. Range up, obviously not what we're looking for. We're always looking for HP ups from bosses. So this one, I'm hoping, does give us the HP up we want. Oh, no. Such a bad hit. Of course, I don't mind losing Devil Deal because we wouldn't be taking Devil Deal anyways. But taking damage, of course, in any sense of the word on this challenge, does not bird well for the rest of the run. Oh, what? Dude, he's launching those at such speed. Fuck you. HP up, please. Damage up's pretty good, but it's not a HP up. Really need HP ups because they not only give you more HP to work with, they heal you up as well, so... 
Yeah. Okay. Mega Bean is going to be pretty useful overall for this run. Good. Push me away all you like, big boy. Take out this guy first, because, yeah, I'm going to say he's going to do the poison. Good, good. Chest, you're going to give me... I'm gambling on pills now. I've already I've already taken the initial gamble. I know not to in the future, but I already have now, so I might as well just stick with it. Another tinted rock there. Good. Extra penny. Extra bomb there for that. Just gotta, gotta look for the small rock, haven't I? Although, getting a speed down would be pretty devastating. Okay, these enemies in this type of room does not bird well. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. Because these guys chase you down. They've got a lot of HP. There's not much I can do against them. Yeah. I don't have enough fire rate to kill them or keep them away from me. Good effort, but yeah, let, let's do some holding ass. Try and get half decent item room off the bat. To try and actually have a chance at this. Celestial Berry. Double Celestial Berry. Okay. Intriguing. Okay, they both work. How many stats do they give us in total? So... Do we get stats for each berry there? We do get stats for each berry. Okay, this is good. We do not... Wow. That was a very, very predicted jump. Okay, this is a horrible... Horrible room. So the Celestial Berry situation we've got going on right now is pretty good. But it's not the end-all be-all. It's not perfect. But having flight is good. Being able to get some stats up in a room is good. Can't get the second berry, unfortunately. Also, we're going to get a lot of luck upgrades here. Oh, God. Uh, I've just realized I really hate this room. Luckily, the room is something we can deal with easily. But yeah, don't, don't beeline it for the berries if they're too difficult to grab. Try and grab them if we can. We get a full one fire rate and a full two damage from collecting both berries. Why not? Gotta remember we don't always have flight. That's gonna be something that's gonna be a challenge for me here. Bomb on a penny back. Yeah, we get po 0.1 luck for every room that we get birth in as well, which is kind of insane. Just got to remember not to, like I said, try too hard to get birth. My reflection's good stuff. I like my reflection. Um, Misprinted Joker is... Reels items uh, into debt. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that. We've got five bombs to work with for our bosses here as well. Not bad stuff. Not bad stuff. Berries are more important to grab on the bosses. But again, don't hurt ourselves trying to get them. Can you, like, get behind... Get from out behind the pillars, please? It's not... Very conducive to my success if you're just hiding the whole time. Good stuff. Stapler. Nice. Hmm. 
Boss items I would normally use misprinted Joker on, but now I won't because I need HP ups. Can't gamble losing the HP ups. Interesting run here. Got a Devil Deal. There's a HP up. Lovely. Don't want the Devil Deal, obviously. Uh, we go down. So now that's that's a berry that we cannot take. Yeah, having flight mushrooms though, it's going to be super super good. Another one that we can't really take very easily. Ooh, actually, actually, spectral is super valuable for us because we can fly over rocks. So, oh, that's annoying. Cause now we we have no idea where that fucking trinket is now. God damn it, that's super frustrating. Not what we needed right there. Not what we needed at all. <sighs> Maggie's burr. Oh ho ho, Maggie's burr is useful because it's more HP. Yeah, knew that was coming. Yeah, we're not getting both the berries mushrooms now. I really want to look for that trinket, but I just have no idea where it is now. There it is. Okay, lovely. Having spectral is worth it being a little bit harder to hit enemies, because now we can fly over the top of rocks and still be able to hit enemies, which is going to save us a lot. Obviously, we need to be able to grab flight for that to be worthwhile. Oh, Curse of the Maze has thoroughly, thoroughly confused me here. What we got going on here? Those guys aren't too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Check out what's going on in the shop. Don't know right now. Let's try and get an additional penny from somewhere and come back to that. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get going on here. Nine volt doesn't do much for us, but could be good later on, I guess. Don't bother with that other berry. Try and... Basically, I pick out the one that's easiest to get and see if I can get the second one. Very confused about where I'm meant to be going at this point. Honestly, my reflection is really good with this setup as well. Okay, this is one where we're probably not going to get either. Oh, no, we got both. Surprising. See, see what I mean about our luck, though? It's still so low, considering. Celestial Berry is not the end-all be-all of getting luck. I keep saying end-all be-all this run as well, and I don't know why. Maybe I've heard it recently. First of all, let's bomb this and see what happens. Nice. We'll use Misprinted Joker, see what we end up getting here. Ocular Rift's very good. Free hug. I don't think you give me HP directly, so I don't think this will do anything, but I'm going to hug him nonetheless. Yeah, Ocular is good here. Obviously, we could have got something better there. We don't know, but this is good, and we don't know what we would have got. Now we just have absolutely no idea where we're going is the problem. This guy can be a little bit of a pain. He gives us infestation if we kill him as well. They didn't give us anything this time around. Yeah. Really unsure as to where we haven't been at this point. Down from here, maybe? Yes, down from here. We get out of the way of that.
You stop smashing, smashing your arms into the walls, you fool. Just gotta make sure to keep in my mind that I do not have permanent flight. I only have flight if I touch the berries. Because that's gonna screw me over if I'm not careful. Oh god, the rift's pulling the berries. That's slightly unfortunate. The fool. Useful, I guess. Okay, we got one of them. Couldn't get the second. So, okay, that went pretty well. And we got HP up as well. Okay, you can be annoying. Going over rocks doesn't really help us here, so just got to be aware of that. You can just jump on top of us. Nice. So far, this is a very, very good run. Fire rate up is very, very nice. It's a very, very good run. It does not mean anything, though. We are not even close to the hard parts of the run yet, really. We are still in the baby bits of the run. This guy hurts me all the goddamn time. Yep. That attack is really hard to avoid. We do get Crack the Sky out of it, which I think is pretty darn good for us. to 1.3 luck, which is going to help with our rifts. Uh, 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 no, no, no. The rifts, as you saw there, can be a little bit janky. Can be a little bit problematic here and there. Good. Feeling secret room here, maybe. Nah. Don't know if I made a good mistake or bad mistake getting into the middle here. Either way, it wasn't on purpose. This is Necro, so we don't want to go through there yet. Take out this big boy first. Good. Oh my god. The rifts are like so so useful, but at the same time so goddamn scary. Just get a berry. Get out the way. Oh, what the shit? Oh, I didn't realize that was what that did. That, okay. That was a very, very big mistake on my behalf there. Okay, okay. The things are going, things are going south now. The rifts... Kind of screwed me there. Okay, can I can I stop just walking straight into stuff? Okay, this is our first room without without having flight, and I immediately okay. I've I've whiffed so goddamn hard here. That last room really threw me off. Oh my god, I lost so much health there. See what I mean? Things can just go wrong so fast. Can all look fine and dandy, but. Gamble with the pill. Shot speed down. Permit. Doesn't matter for us. Ugh. So, so annoyed at that. I lost like three full hearts in the last few rooms for no good reason. No good reason at all. I just, I, I thought I could get behind the, um, the shooter boy. And I put myself in a position where I couldn't kill the, the clickety clacks in time. That's not good. 
<laughs> we have my reflection, so it's not ideal. Oh, come on now. I need this. No, don't push it back. Fuck. Oh, my God. Well, this run's pretty much over. <laughs> In any other run, I'd actually be pretty happy with Epicac. With a run with my reflection, not so much. Not so much. really don't like these rooms with enemies that I can't kill. Good. Good hit there. Is that a rainbow poop right there? Holy shit, that was clutch. I didn't even think about rainbow poops as a way out, but I mean, it's not really a way out. I'm still in a position where I'm going to hit myself a fucking lot. I need, I need explosion immunity, otherwise I'm basically screwed. I've got another item room on this floor somewhere. God knows where. See, I'm not hitting myself with it that much at the minute, but that doesn't mean anything right now t for me. Why? I'm going to say, why did I try to go for that? We've got enough range that my reflection isn't taking that much effect. Where's our other item room at? I just don't know where I've been and where I haven't. Damn it. Through here, maybe? No. Come on, item room. Where you at? <sighs> Useful, I guess. Can't believe that rainbow poop, my god. There's got to be another... Like, I'm not dumb, am I? I am missing an item room here. Right, so that there's that. Okay, here it is. What's left in this room exactly? Just, just this ghost to chill out? Do its thing. Ah, oh, hello. There's two ghosts in the corner. I didn't see that. No way. Ipecac toxic shock. Okay. This is... This is like the best run I'm ever going to have for this. But it's still like super fucking scary. That is a black heart. Good, good. This is red mum. Not ideal. Easier to hit, but scary. Easier to hit myself. Okay. Negative. Angel deal. That might be that might be terrible. I'm I'm almost certain that's gonna be absolutely disgustingly awful. Cause I think I think that's gonna fire uh Ipecac 
projectiles. And I think that means that it's going to just absolutely annihilate us any time it fires. So, yeah. But the good thing is, we have Toxic Shock, which is, with Ipecac, going to do absolutely untold amounts of damage. Yes, they are indeed Ipecac shots. If they, because they travel in a random direction. If they travel in the wrong direction, they're just going to hit me instantly. So, pretty awful item to grab there. Pretty awful item to grab. It's all about just hoping I go the right way. I mean, when it hits an enemy, it will absolutely destroy them. But it's just got such a high chance of hitting me also that it's like, I don't really know if it's worth it. This is very, very stressful. <laughs> I'm very wary to shoot just because I know that's coming. Eh, 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 that fly! That fly was so scary! Holy fuck, look at this guy. Oh, goddamn. X fucking cues me? Why? Why? Why did this chest just break my holy mantle? There was an enemy underneath it. What? Why? <laughs> the room was over. How dare you, game? Okay. That could be really bad for us. I'm not going to take it. Stop moving like you do. It's the worst. Okay. Really don't like this. I don't even remotely know where I'm supposed to be going or where I've been. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so stressed. This is fun though. I'm having a lot of fun with this run, but I'm, I'm very stressed. Womb XL is uh, not fun. A lot of wrong ways to go. That was so goddamn stupid of me. I was like, maybe the flight will help here. No. Stupid. Idiota. Oh, bollocks. This is where the fucking thread unravels. Take me to the right direction, please. Don't like the way you move. Temperance doesn't do much for us. I missed that. God damn it. Okay. Ah, 
that needs to go first. Yes, please. God damn it. Okay, we found the boss. What the fuck are you? Die, you little squiggle. squiggle. The hell are you? Why am I getting... Is it all double trouble? Is that is that like a thing with this? That I didn't know about? Okay, you're dead. What the fuck? I hit myself. I've hit myself twice. Dude! My Ipecax! Fucking stop! White fucking Perny? I don't need white fucking Perny. Although white Perny is permanent flight, so it's maybe a little bit better, but there's no way I live through this. I also used white Perny wrong. Die, you little squiggle. <sighs> I'm devastated. Honestly, I'm devastated. Oh, that was such a good run. Why did I have to get my reflection Ipecac? <sighs> oh my god, let's roll it back. I want another go. Oh my god. Why did I have to get fucking my reflection on that run? God. Like, it didn't even hit me that much, but it was just towards the end there. Uh, we got Toxic Shock and everything. That was like the dream scenario otherwise. The only thing we didn't have there is like somewhere to heal or whatnot, but that, that's, that, that's rare, so I'm not going to expect that. Why is it that the item room never shows up when you're holding R on this challenge? Like on every other run, it's like, yeah, the item room. Three rerolls, it's right there. This run, it's like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. You're an XL floor, so it's going to take you like 18 rerolls to get an item you don't want. Like Temptation. <laughs> oh, God. That was, that was some high pressure situations right there. Seed Sack. Do not know what this does. Let's find out. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> so, well, in a, in a regular run, it's pretty good. But for this run, it's not good. Oh, God. That, that run was something else, people. That was something else. Sculpting clay. Sculpting clay, I think, has the chance to be really good. Because basically allows me to potentially get extra HP and stuff if I use it against my boss item. Although no, I only get one, I only get one per floor and I've got XL floors. So it's actually not, not that good at all, thinking about it. God damn it. That run was so fun as well, but sometimes there's not much you can do to avoid taking damage. There's a lot of rooms there where I took damage that I just shouldn't have. Compound Fracture, I really like that. I'll take that. Good, good. If we get a key here, we've got our library too, which is pretty good stuff. Rooms with these jumpy motherfuckers are uh, always a bit of a pain as well. They're not that hard to avoid, but they make the rest of the room pretty hard to, uh, to work around. Especially when they're the regrower types. Barely goddamn hit him. I'm hoping for a key and another half decent item room here. And then here, that's decent. Fear shot's probably pretty useful. And the fire rate increase. I will not turn my nose up. And there's our key as well. There's our key. Ugh. We get ourselves Kindling Book and Book of Despair. On use gives burn effect to all enemies um, in the room. The book will eventually burn out and drop the burnt book. Okay, I'll probably take this instead then. 
the extra fire rate bonuses in our boss rooms and any particularly difficult looking rooms. I'll also take another key here, thank you. My god. Get rid of the enemy that can cover the entire room in tears first. This is going to be a long episode, by the way, if this run goes goes the distance, but... I thought, why not give it another go? I'm, I'm really enjoying it. That, that last run was a lot of fun. It was very tense, but I enjoyed it thoroughly. What I need is I need that boss item, the, the shop item, sorry, that makes it so that um, champions have a much higher chance to drop stuff. Although it's not like the end-all be-all, it's not going to, I've said it again, end-all be-all, it's not going to be the best thing ever. Um, it will be pretty useful, so that would be a really nice thing to find in the shop. But we never know if we're going to find it because we're buying things at random. But yeah, Fear Shot I think is actually somewhat underrated for this challenge. Being able to keep enemies away from you is kind of half the battle sometimes. Especially when there's a lot to deal with. Right. Yeah, this is this is probably the harder of the two bosses, I'd say. Take the fire rate bonus here. Because I got a lot of detritus to deal with. See, these guys being feared no longer dive at me. And we get ourselves this, which is a half black heart, unfortunately. Oh god, my fire's just jumped straight on him there. Able to push him straight into them, that's good. Oh, god damn. I ought to check my devil deal, to be honest, because if I get something really goddamn good, like, I'm not going to... I'm unlikely to get my angel deal, so... It's probably better to peek my head and see. Box top, that's a black heart. Actually, no, with this with this HP, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble on an angel deal, considering I've got a little bit of protection here. It's not a lot, obviously. It's not. It's not much, but it's something. Don't like these tiny guys. Not a feeling that would be the case, but you've got to try it. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. These guys can't be champions. There's quite a lot of Fiend Foley enemies that can't be champions, which does help. There, there is some vanilla ones that can't as well, but more Fiend Folio ones, I believe. Is there anything else over at this side of the room? Okay, there's one hippity hopper. These guys are a little annoying just because of their shooting pattern. Again, the fear helps. Stop thinking too much in our business. Key there we can't get. Lovely. You firing your herming shots that split. Again, fear proving to be very, very valuable here. What we got going on in here? Nothing good, I wouldn't say. Yeah, these guys are very annoying, but luckily... Keeping your distance from them is mostly effective. This guy being feared is actually kind of a pain. Yeah, there you go. Nice and easy on those dudes. Again, pills ain't happening. These jumpy boys, just... Someone, please, someone out there, make a mod that makes these guys way more reasonable. Because goddamn, they're just stupid. Just hop over the entire goddamn room. And sometimes it's like, no, nah, just a small hop. Other times it's like, nah, I'm going to hop over the literal entire room. I also can't kill him because he's a regrower, which is very annoying. Oh, that was a bad way to lose our soul heart protection there. Not particularly happy with that. Cricket's body plus um, compound fracture is a is always a fun interaction. Dude, stop with this. A little bit laggy, but good nonetheless. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, 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 oh. 
taunt me with your bullshit. But yeah, now we have the, the two splitters. All we need now is Parasite, and then we are full on Splitville. Oh, we have a key. Damn it. Oh my god. Why does Curse of the Maze have to be part of this? We're not even going to be able to find our way back there now. Where are you popping up? Annoying boy. Alright, so here's here's where our item room is. Oh my god. The amount of lag just these two items produces is, is quite heavy. Just all the tier like the, the little burn fragments. It needs to be a mod that just gets rid of some of those effects. Because they're not n strictly necessary. There is one mod, like, it's quite an old one, but I don't think it's been updated in a long time. Come on, key. Where you at? I will search the end of the earth for a key here. I know it to, I know my item room to be true. I mean, there is a key there, but that one's a little uh, unavailable. Also, with, with a this many shot splitting, like, fearing enemies is pretty much a guarantee at this point, so that's kind of nice. There's a bomb. Not quite what we're looking for. Here's a bomb fly. Fear doesn't do much to these guys, I don't think. You're a regrower, right? No. There's a key. Now I've just got to remember which way I came. <laughs> Because I don't particularly remember. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. And then this way. Yes. Just about remembered it. See if it was worth it. It was not really. Deck of cards. Not grit. Right. Oh, where we go. Boss time it is, wherever the boss actually is. I don't think we've found the boss door yet, have we? Or have we? I don't remember. No, we haven't. We are killing enemies extremely quickly right now. Got that going for us at least. The farmer and his carrots. Funny. Local arch archaeologist retires and becomes a carrot farmer. <laughs> That's what the title of the room was. This guy's going to split into shots when he dies as well, so I've got to be ready for that. <sighs> okay, we found our boss. How did that? How's that dip alive? Dip survived a lot. <laughs> See how this boss goes. Ooh, I got hit by something there. Ooh, I got hit twice. That was a really, really, really bad tower card by me. My bad. Hey, Mr. Dolly. Ah, oh, wait, Mr. Dolly isn't that good now. Damn it. I was like, yeah, Mr. Dolly will be great. Doesn't give us the soul hearts. These double troubles are pretty... Pretty brutal. I think we're basically done here unless we get a HP upgrade. Can this other dude die already? Good, good, good. 
you spawn stuff, I insta-kill it. There you go. The burn lord is here. We got some really good items. Just unfortunately, all of them aren't really what we need right now. We need HP ups. Our HP last time was, was like the best part about the run. It was insane. I tried to kill this guy so he death affects the entire room, but he ain't having it. There you go. That helps, but yeah. Doubt, doubt at this point we're going to be able to get much going on. Oh, these enemies, no. Always get hit by these guys. And they always manage to get back into their bodies so goddamn easily. <laughs> Like, where's this other one gone? Okay, good. Intriguing. Hey, there's a key at least, that's good. Not too bad. Oh god, it's just... Just gotta relax, pay attention, play it safe. I'm gonna go for a fire rate increase in this room because there's gonna be a lot coming at us. Potentially a lot at least. And just with my frame rate, frame rate was more than about five right now. I could probably do a little bit more to avoid the things coming at me, but this is the life we live. A hey, two keys, beautiful. Now all we need is both of our item rooms that cast the maze screwing everything up. Oh. oh god! I forgot you did that. Very much forgot you did that. The knockback is actually kind of annoying as well. We're knocking enemies back so much. It's a little difficult to like keep them where we want them to actually hit them. Fear is good, though. Fear is working wonders for us. Lots of bombs. What is it? You, do, you, do you just jump? You just jump. Apparently have a lot of HP as well. That's also what you do. What damn everything does. Can I just drop me some HP? <laughs> You ever thought about that challenge? Just drop me some HP. How about that? Okay, we've got big boy here that does the does the shake and work. Another bomb. It's always the problem with these challenges. Like you seem to go everywhere, and you still don't find your item rooms. It's like where could they possibly be? And like normally tucked to a corner. Okay, knocking these guys around is not good. Because we can knock these brimstones into ourselves if we're not careful. Luckily, we took them out pretty quickly. With one heart at the moment, I'm, I'm obviously not very hopeful of how things are going to go, but we've got to try. I think this creep can hurt us. So we've got to be careful about that. Yeah, some of it can, some of it can't. The ones produced by these dudes can't. The ones produced by the bigger dudes can hurt us. Which makes things very confusing in this room. I like the way this room's called soft serve. Where are we going next? Here, I guess? We got another library, that's potentially good. Ah, oh, these teleporting fuckers. Both of them are teleporting fuckers as well, I didn't realise. While they're feared, they just don't even care to attack. Which helps. How to jump. Oh, God damn it, this could be annoying. 
Ja. What does Kerstenborg do again? I don't know, but I accidentally used it. Let me out of here, fuck's sake. Picking it up or using it adds a curse. While held, the player takes double damage and has a chance to teleport when hit. Permanent stat up on use. Black Candle turns this book into blank book. Not ideal for us. Fortunately, these enemies hit me all the goddamn time. Okay. Oh wait, we've we're holding the wrong thing now. I want that back. Don't throw your head at me, sir. No thank you. Potentially good trinket there. Right, where are we going from here? Not been here apparently. Not seen a single item room yet. It's getting confusing. Okay, there you go. We found one finally. Okay, this guy's been able to sit over the top of rocks. Don't like that. Just try and fire at this guy from across the room. It's going to be way easier. There you go. Big jumpers, don't do your big jump. We get ourselves Chastity Bell, which gives us damage up for the less keys we have. That's great. That spawns a bunch of soul hearts on the floor, I believe. Um, we got none. So we're still missing one item room. It's problematic for us. Because I, yeah, I just don't know where it could be. I don't know where I've not been yet. It's very, very confusing at this stage. Anywhere up here? Maybe here? I don't think we've been here. Okay, there you go. We've not been here. A little brain boy. Ah, that was actually really easy to kill him. I mean, our damage and, like, ability to kill is very good. So we've still got that on our side. We've not been anywhere near over here. Curse of the Maze could screw us here, though, so... Can't get too comfortable. Reform all you like. Up to 53 minutes already. This is going to be a long boy. But at the minute, I think we're still at 1 HP. So any one hit is going to kill us at the minute. I'm leaving keys behind so I keep damage, by the way. Good. Beautiful. Where's that item room at? It's got to be near here somewhere. We'll find it eventually. Oh god, blue spike blocks. I completely forgot how those worked for a second there. Don't like the bat boy sitting over the rocks also. Things that can sit over rocks don't, don't sit well with me. Very, very annoying to play against. Because this guy's feared, so he just like keeps going over the rocks. And now he keeps belching himself back onto the rocks. If you could stop belching for like a hot, a hot second there, dude. There you go. Okay, this has got to be where item room is, other side of this room. The rather annoying room, because of very, very high amount of enemies, but it shouldn't be that hard. Especially because they're none of my champions. Them not being champions helps us immensely. Them being able to sit over rocks does not help us immensely, as previously noted. There it is. 
You watch it just be the most garbage thing you've ever seen. Yeah, kind of. I mean, Bumbo's not bad. He can do some good damage, but he needs a lot of money before he becomes valuable to us. And honestly, I don't know where we're going to get that. I don't think I've seen the shop either here. Ooh, one minute. Nope, it's going to be hard for me to find the boss room again here. I am already quite confused about where I am. I think it's over this way. No? No, that doesn't look right. Down from here, maybe. Yeah, okay, I think this is right. Okay, yeah, this is correct. Try and take a one out as fast as humanly possible. Deal with the other after. That worked out really, really well. Him being feared is not ideal, because he's backing himself away from me, and I'd rather deal with his little him and his little buddy straight on. But there you go, we got him. HP, please, 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 HP. Wooden spoon, hell yeah. Very, very quick mum kill, which is nice. Cliff of Balance literally does exactly nothing for us. Amazing, because it only affects room drops, and, like, we yeah, we're going to get some keys out of it and stuff, but who cares? <laughs> we did get two soul hearts from it, though. Forgot about that. We did get two soul hearts from it. That is something. We don't need keys really anymore at all, so I'm just going to stay on zero keys for the damage bonus. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of keys on our room drops here. Unfortunately, the soul heart drops, we just doesn't do anything for us. We can't get any soul hearts via Glyph of Balance. So, like I said, Glyph of Balance is not not a really good item for us. I was hoping for like a Revelations or something for the flight and the soul hearts. But at least Glyph of Balance does give us two soul hearts. That's something. It's some meager bit of protection. Found the boss straight away here. Very nice. Unfortunately, they can't hurt each other with their brimstones. Wouldn't have expected them to, but still. There are spiked rocks in this room. Be, be heavily, heavily aware of that. Yeah, nice. We managed to get one of them to jump onto a spike rock and hurt himself. That's not what I was expecting to be the way we beat this guy, but it was nice same with that guy, actually. Okay. Perfect. That is damage. Dude, we got no HP this entire run. This trinket? My god, this trinket. This trinket was amazing. <laughs> this is the fair that we've made it. I still, I'm not convinced this is going to go well, I'll be honest. One second. Right, I'm going to have to take a pause in a moment, but let's carry on for now. But yeah. Sort of thinking this is going to go pretty terribly, I'll be honest. Uh, but I will try my best. But yeah, this, this trinket was real goddamn good. Helped us a whole heap. Good. You're taken care of. Now, of course, we can't XL floor this one, so... What, what exactly do you do? I know you dash at me, but other than that, I'm not really sure. 
this can't do much for us other than it can... Oh, really? It can give us some cards that could be useful, so I guess I'll play it. It can also give us some good trinkets as well, actually. Get, 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 get out of here, trinkets. Get out of here. What's bothering me? I said it could give me some cards, but apparently that was... I was misinformed. Cern Bond doesn't do much for us here. Yera. Technically, Yera is good. I'll take it. Don't like that fortune being in my face there. The tinted rock here, I think. Thank you for dying. I think that was a tinted rock, but obviously I just don't get a chance to use it. Oh god, this is a really horrible room here. Oh, you can... I did not know they could fire over rocks. That's very, very nice news to find out now. Could this room be over, please? Yeah, these whippy bitches are going to be a nightmare. There's so many of them as well. Okay, well, these ones aren't as bad. These ones are just the chasing ones. The actual whippy tongue ones, very, very hard for me to avoid. Look at his little hurtful eyes. Right, boss room isn't in here, is it? Let me quickly, quickly glance at all the doors. No. Yeah, get back over there. Get back over there. Right. Keep moving over this way now. Oh, no, that's, that's that room again. Okay. Slightly confused. Curse of the Maze has slightly confused me. Scythe, be gone. Probably should take out him first, to be honest. Good, good. Don't need my keys for anything. Okay, here's our boss. Oh, god damn it. Right, let's just take a pause here, and I'll continue in a sec. Okay, I am back. Um, something I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to drop this trinket, because... I don't think it will, but it's a pocket Bible, so what if it does the same Bible effect that it does on Satan when you use the real Bible? That'd be really bad. Anyways, let's give this a go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive this, we'll just have to see. Um, because, honestly, being able to survive this guy, um, without getting hit twice is not, like, it's not super difficult, but it's not that easy either. So we'll just have to see. We got quite a lot of damage, so I'm hopeful in that regard, but there's some of his attacks that I find really tricky. Some of his attacks I find really tricky. My little buddy is has died there. Phase one has been done. Good, good. Phase two is where things really get difficult for me to dodge, though. Especially with how much it's lagging right now. Yeah, good damage. Oh, I've walked directly goddamn into the foot. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got it, but yeah, I walked directly into the foot there. That's annoying. So basically, my hope now is getting nine lives from one of the eight chests that I'll have available on this floor. <laughs> and then hoping that I can do it with nine lives. That is my current theory. Oh, bugger. We don't know what any of these are. Shit. <laughs> we can take one of them. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my God. 
Hellfire. Not the one I was hoping for. So, I could gamble and go for this and hope it's nine lives. But there's just such a low chance of that happening. But there's, there's also such, like, I won't even say a low chance. There is zero chance of me living through this. So do I just gamble and go for it? I think I do. Nah. Unlucky. I had, like, I just, I didn't think there was any point in attempting it with that HP. I had to just gamble and hope I got nine lives or something. I completely forgot about the fact that I wasn't going to be able to see anything there. Either way, that was a fun episode. I think I'm going to try this again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.